All right, Chadwick Boseman, so I guess you're going to beat up everybody. Nerd soul. Late ill kid at one youngster holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah. We're about to get into another wonderful episode of movie reviews. And we're not going to waste your time. We've got the king himself, Jacob King, in A Message from the King. And this movie is on Netflix, so a lot of people have seen it, told me to go in and review it. Uh, I've been waiting to review it anyway, so we might as well just go in and get into this and let you know that this is going to be a spoiler review. And I'll just start talking about things that stood out to me uh, that I think worked, didn't work, whatever. We're going to get into it. So uh, the voicemail at the beginning to me was kind of, it was kind of messed up. Here's why. Because his sister, his sister shouldn't have to play like the, the guessing game or the, the pronoun game with him. Like she left this like distress signal slash like cryptic message and you kind of knew she was in danger but you didn't know why and I'm thinking like if I call my brother right now I'm not gonna be like yo man they're coming to get me no I'm gonna be like yo man it's it's I don't know Tim is on his way I don't know I, I guess Tim is a bad guy in my story all right Tim is coming all right and I, I'm running from Tim I wouldn't like make him guess but you know it's it's enough to get him to come to LA. Um, and when he gets to LA, it's interesting to see that dude only came with 600 bucks. Like dude was like, look, I'm up in here and I'm gonna get up out. Even when they ask him like $600 is enough, aren't you gonna try to drive a cab or something? He's like, look, I'm not here to stay. I'm here for a little bit, only one week and I'm out. And the cool thing about hearing about one week is that we know we have our ticking time clock already. This is gonna be a short movie in and out. And once he gets, you know, his apartment and all that, we find out that he's, you know, searching for his sister and he's following leads. He goes to where she used to live. He meets um, this old girl from APB. And he meets her, uh, kind of gets a little bit of information about where she's been. He gets a little bag from her. And it's when he searches through the bag, which really reveals a lot of what she was into, what she was going through. And this is where the story starts to go down a vibe where I was like, you know, this is kind of sad. Like the whole vibe of this is really sad. And it's at that moment where I realized that I'm probably in for a movie that I didn't think I was in for. Um, so what, what really brings a gut punch is when he finally finds his sister's body at the morgue. And um, the guy pulls her out on the table and you see her and she's been horribly beaten and bloody and um it's 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 hard to look at and i mean you know it's a fake body but it's still like yo like that is it's it's bad and you know he breaks down and you on the inside even watching it it's kind of it's kind of like whoa that you know we expected to see a dead body because you know she was missing so we and i mean we already know that the movie he's looking you know for her after her death and everything but we had no idea her body would look like that. So of course, this is when we get into the meat of our story is trying to figure out why she died and who killed her. And this brings you into a, a very interesting, I guess, journey of his. Because in my mind, we were gonna see a movie uh, full of revenge. And we do, but it's more, this is more sad. Uh, than all, even the way it's shot, uh, like it's very gritty, the way it's shot, the way it's color graded, it, it just brings this feel of kind of like despair and depression on you. And there's no, it's less action and a little more depression. And you kind of feel sorry for this guy because yeah, you get your action scene, dude gets his chain and he wrecks shop on this dude that used to be her boyfriend that pretended like he didn't know her and even when he was like lying about it, I was like yo you know that you know you know you done messed up right you know you done messed up right but it's moments like that that shine when he's questioning someone when he already knows that they're lying where the tension kind of ratchets up for a second where you're like oh he might kill this dude um like when he's speaking with the dentist you know you get this vibe of like Anything can happen because this guy has already snapped. And speaking of snapping, 
he dang near snapped the dude's neck at this party he was at with the girl from APB. I can't me remember her name, but I'm gonna flash it up right here. And I'm so sorry that I forgot your name, but I loved you in this movie, which I'm gonna get to later. But um, he snaps his neck outside the party and he is not playing. He doesn't care about witnesses. He doesn't care about people with cell phones or anything. He is just going for broke. And as the audience, you can't help but kind of like side with him because you're looking at this situation like, yo, if I saw my sister or my brother beaten like that, it's not going to be good, yo. Everybody got to die. But the, the seriousness, the harshness of the situation, the city that he's in, like even when they categorize and, and depict LA in such a like, uh, kind of like a dark tone, and so like full of despair. Um, it's just, it's sad. Even when he meets the young lady that's in the apartment or I guess in the motel next to him, her story is sad and her outlook on life is sad. Her, her, you know, when you go into her motel room, it's sad. Like everything is just this overbearing feeling of just depression. And that's not exactly what you expected. And speaking of expectations, before we move on, I gotta remind you that you can find me on Black Hollywood Live. That's right, the first online network for African Americans, extremely dope, and you can catch them online at blackhollywoodlive.com where they have celebrity interviews, after show, sports talk, geek nerd tech, the whole shebang a bang. And you can check them out on YouTube at youtube.com slash blackhollywoodlive. So with tracking down this story, you have, you know, this, this feeling of just an overbearing dark cloud following Chadwick Boseman, AKA Jacob King's character. And you know that he's going to find something bad because we still don't know why his girl or why his sister, excuse me, died. And we finally catch up to this young kid that was kind of like her son or he was taking care of him while she was alive. And we find out that now this little boy is at some kind of movie director's place. And the reason he's there is because we find a video that his sister took showing some, some pedophilia, if you will. And it's the threat of something like that getting out that I guess that they are willing to kill for. I mean, they probably could have just paid the girl off, but I guess they, and, and the reason I say pay the girl off is because they're throwing around like $750,000, $50,000 here and there for people to kill Jacob King or like assassins and paying off people left and right. I'm like, why couldn't they have just paid her off? Not saying that it's a good thing to do pedophilia. It's horrible and you should go down. But what I'm saying is like they could have paid her off. They didn't have to kill her. And since they did, now they have a whole new problem on their hands. And even when they try to pay some guys to kill them, they can't even get that right. Like these fake cops, or maybe they're probably real cops that are just dirty cops. These dirty cops catch up with Jacob King, have a chance to kill him, but they ruin that. It's like, yo, if I pay $50,000 to kill somebody, dude, kill them. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yo, how hard is it to kill somebody if I'm paying you $50,000? I mean, come on. But after a situation like that, you know that it's going to, it's gonna go bad and end badly for everyone in sight. And what I mean by that is Jacob King, of course, you know, gathers his faculties, kind of, you know, heals up, and he comes up with this plan to make both parties sort of kill themselves. And um, it works extremely well in an ending sequence or a third act that kind of comes to a head where, you know, he pits the two against each other. He gets his revenge by taking down this director, but he leaves a very special surprise for the dentist and for the, the drug boss, the Duke, who was her boyfriend, in a nice, pretty package for them. And it's interesting to see how even when they had a common enemy, they couldn't get it together. Look, villains of the world, if y'all have a common enemy, the only way y'all gonna win is if y'all get it together. And I'm gonna have to give this movie three and a half stars because this movie had a lot of acting moments in it that I did not expect. I did not expect anyone outside of Chadwick Boseman to really come through and shine. And a lot of the actors, even though they were just in serviceable roles, really kind of, they, they shine for me. Like, they, they did their job well to help paint this picture of just this, this underworld that his sister got caught up in and she should not have been there at all. 
So guys, holla at me once again. I'm gonna holla at you down in the comments. Let me know what you thought about Message from the King. I didn't get exactly what I thought I was gonna get, but it ended up still being a, a decent watch. I don't know if it has the replay value that I thought it would have, but it it, it definitely came through. I, I was like, wow, this is, this is way more sad than I thought it would be. I thought I was gonna be getting something kind of like Man on Fire, and I got a little something more like, I don't, I don't know what I would pull out at this time, but just something full of sadness. And I did not expect to be as sad as I was watching this movie. So of course, before I bounce, I gotta tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. And don't forget to get one uh, for them playettes. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can tell people that you like what you are watching. And my shout outs go to LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart. And please, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And check it. If you're doing wrong, and somebody has a brother or a sister living abroad, you better stop. Peace.